Yo, what is up everyone? Welcome uh, to my video about Blackout Revival. So Blackout Revival is a new looter shooter type game on Roblox. It came out, I think, a few days ago. It's been in development for a few years. Um, so basically, this is just... For me, this is just criminality, but better. I feel I enjoy this game more <clears throat> than criminality. It just seems a lot more fun, a lot well like a lot more like thought out and well made. But I've been playing the game for a few days, but I wanna make, uh I wanna be showing you guys what you would do for your first day in uh Blackout Revival. So right now the game is in early access, paid early access. So <coughs> If you when you first buy the uh, online mode, I'd recommend playing the free tutorial first. But if you go to online mode, don't go to any. You don't need any close by servers. To you, I live in Australia, so I don't need the. Oh, there's no. Oh, wait, no, there is. I don't need those. You want to first go to the smallest currently server. If I refresh real quick, so Hopeless Peak, U.S. Illinois. <coughs> We're gonna load in here. And I'm just gonna show you guys what to do. Because, you know, your first day in Blackout, it, it could be pretty confusing, you know, you're gonna get killed every now and then. It's... You, you might be tempted to just close the game and like, you know what, this was a waste of money. But trust me, it isn't. <laughs> Alright, we're loading in right now. Alright, so once you're loaded in, you do not want to click play first. You actually want to configure your settings. <coughs> um, my settings are pretty much the base settings. You can change the keybinds, like all this stuff, crosshair, things like this. But I changed my video settings pretty much just to make the game look a lot better. So I'm running around 50 FPS. My computer is not the best by any means. In fact, my uh, GPU is from 2017, I believe. So let me just turn my game down a little bit. All right. So when you're first thrown in, you want to make sure, like, you don't you don't want to go straight over to. Uh, oh my god, this is crazy. You don't want to just straight up go over to the military outpost because you will get killed like instantly you want to go to one of these buildings that have all these like open areas and you want to see if you can find one of these boxes if they're unlocked you can loot it you can grab some cash and some valuables uh you don't really need food but i'm gonna take a little bit just in case because you do have a hunger and thirst bar and then we're gonna check around if i open this one nope that requires a lockpick Ah, so this one, if it has a lockpick, perfect, two lockpicks. Ooh, also a shotgun and some anti-flash go goggles. Uh, during the early game, you don't necessarily need flash goggles. They're really just... You can just sell them, pretty much. But here is how to lockpick. So when you're lockpicking, you want to slowly rotate the lockpick around until you hear a little click. Then you want to try and pick. Alright, so if you... Hear... Didn't hear it. No, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna close it and open it. Oh, right there. And then try and pick it. Bam. All right. So now we got some more cash and valuables. But okay. So cash and valuables are not actually the same thing. So cash is just your normal cash. Valuables is like a second cash. Valuables you can't directly deposit into your account, but you can trade it into a broker for the exact same amount of cash. But also, with, val with valuables, you actually lose all of it when you die. I'm just gonna lock this. Oh, there we go. And right there. No. Nope. 
There we go. Perfect. Now let's grab all this money and valuables. But now, the best thing that you want to loot is the safes. If you, if you manage to lock one of these, oh, I think that was just instantly. It's pretty easy. Uh, the loot is well, usually good. Incendi incendiaries and grenades you can actually sell for like a few hundred bucks. You also don't want to have guns on you. Guns, the early guns aren't really too useful, especially against some of the more OP players. It's like the uh, the guns in this game aren't actually too balanced. But for but I mean you're pretty much just starting out, so you wouldn't expect to get like the best guns instantly. Alright, so we're gonna um, uh, we're gonna lock this. Ooh, it was right there. Perfect. Open this, and we get a tactical knife and a lockpick. I'm gonna take all this money and valuables. I'm gonna lock this. Didn't seem to hear it. Maybe I'm just stupid. You don't want to waste all your lockpicks. I think it's just right there. There we go. Okay, we got some more lockpicks anyway, which is good. But uh, let's let's say this is enough for us. So you see this M? This is a merchant. You can buy and sell items from him, like guns and things. But if you hover over it, see so like this terminal, which you can turn into cash. If there's an arrow pointing down, that means it's below you. If there's an arrow pointing up, that means it's above you. So in my case, the merchant is up here, because they usually are. Go right in here. Run around here, and there we go. We've got a merchant. So now we go sell, and then we sell the 725, the anti-flash goggles, the incendiary, and the grenade. See, these get us to 1.4k and 1.1k in valuables. But we want to make sure we quickly turn our valuables into money, so we go look for this broker, which is below us. Alright. Oop, took a little bit of damage there. We're going to try and take as little damage as possible. Now, we should... Oh, he's above us now. Uh-oh. Okay, maybe... Hmm. There's going to be a way to get up there, right? Yeah. Oh, this game also has some pretty cool parkour aspects. Like, wait, can I climb up there? No, I don't think so. Maybe, okay, maybe I'll just look for a new broker. Some brokers are just on the ground. Ah, so there's a broker in this building up here. So it's on my level. Oh, I mean, he is in a building, he's in an alleyway. But if we walk up to him, and then we go... I would like to turn on some valuables. Now we have all that, all those valuables in money, and then we can run over to this terminal right over here. And then we can go enter all deposit. Also, if you find a really good gun, like an MP5 or something, make sure to store it, or like some armor, gas mask, all this stuff that I have stored is can be pretty useful, especially when you're just starting out, because you can save it for later missions. And speaking of missions, let's go back to the broker and let's go, have you got any work to do around here? And now we're gonna, okay, so we're gonna look for a zero, okay, let's go for this zero star. So party of one and $500 in cash and we get 2,500 in stash. So I'm gonna grab, I, I'm gonna grab 500 out of my terminal and I'm gonna go do that mission. Draw. Alright, so we're gonna run back over to him. We're gonna go E. Got any work to do around here? And we're gonna do restocking. And we're gonna go. Alright, I'll take a job. So now we look for this right over here, or this over in the map. <coughs> and then we're just gonna run over to the destination. The thing is, I'm pretty sure if you do get killed then you lose this and you fail it, so basically you lose $500. So you want to make sure you are not killed. Alright, so we make it over to this guy. Press E. Bam. We made 2.5k. And basically, 
Oh, there's some gunshot. You just wanna, this is one of the best grinding methods, or just pretty much looting houses for guns and things like that. Another really good way to grind is the military outpost. The military outpost, I believe, has the best loot, although it is heavily guarded by NPCs. And um, I'll probably make a video on how to properly raid that, be able to like escape, and like some nearby brokers and some good strategies and things. But I mean, maybe if we reach like 20 likes, I'll probably do that. So just make sure to smash that like button. Um, um, really just do like a bunch of jobs by the brokers. Um, you can make sure to loot up areas. Uh, so the best way to earn XP is to actually kill NPCs or players. I haven't actually killed someone yet, which is surprising. I'm not very, a uh, combat guy. I kind of suck at this game, really. All I know is to grind. But when you kill an NPC, I think you get, uh, 100 and something XP, which is really useful compared to doing other tasks like just purchasing things or selling things or collecting your like paycheck and so basically you just wanna the best way to kill an NPC is to go to the military outpost which I believe is right there you wanna go behind an NPC while they're alone and you want to use the right click and do a heavy attack which does a lot of damage, and then you just want to spam them with the light attack, and it should kill them. You can loot them up, and yeah, just uh, for your first day of blackout, just don't try and instantly kill everyone. You're not going to kill many people, especially since the guns' early stages are not too good compared to the M4A1s that the level 20s have. Another really, uh, something really good to grind for would be the Katana. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a medium-ish level, and it does, I think, one or two shot heavy, which is really good, especially for killing NPCs without them shooting you and learning even more NPCs. But uh, I think that's going to be the end for this video. Um, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And uh, I'll make some more videos if this does well. Please, like I, I, ha I haven't, I haven't made a few. I haven't made videos in a while. You know, it's just I've, I've been struggling a bit. I mean, even e if you're even seeing this video, then wow, it's, uh, this might not even be uploaded. You know, all right. Bye-bye.